This fight, the top rank uh, bout and all that. Yeah, it's my top rank debut. Uh, I'm excited. I uh, did my first uh, my training camp in Las Vegas at the top rank gym. Got a lot of good uh, quality work, a lot of good sparring, and uh, I'm just excited to show what, what I've been, you know, waiting to show to the world what I've been working on and and all the the talent I got. Elephant in the room, right? Is um, everyone knows that you fought Venado Lopez? You beat him on Showbox. Now he's a world champion. Yeah. If he's successful against Michael Conlon, is that a fight you'd like to revisit? For sure. I'm sure he wants to get his win back. But yeah, I wouldn't mind fighting him again. Uh, it was pretty. I learned a lot from that fight. Uh, just how wild he was. But I feel like uh, I gotten better. I gotten smarter and um, just more of a confident and comfortable fighter at, now that I am right now. What did you really learn? Like elaborate on that. Yeah, I mean just like stuff like uh, you know I for that fight I feel like that was the first fight where like I had to bring the dog out of me and you know just show a little bit more than the skills that I got. I had of you know I was in the doghouse so I feel like I I, I uh, did pretty good as far as like adjusting and and uh, you know all that stuff like that. Do you want to fight for a world title by the end of the year? Is that the goal to get into a big fight after this type of fight? Mm, I wouldn't say that's the goal. I want to perform good uh, Saturday night and then, you know, I, for the last few years I haven't been as active as far as fighting more than once a year. So I want to fight at least, you know, twice in a year and then we'll see how the year ends and uh, depending on my, my performances, uh, I expect them to be high quality. I, I want to look great, not just win and just get a regular decision. You know, I want to, I want to look good while I'm doing it. Um, like, I guess another thing is, what do you, where do you see the division going, the featherweight division? Honestly, it's getting pretty good right now. I felt like it died down for a little bit. Um, but there's a lot of good champions in the division right now. It's getting pretty hot again. So I'm just, I feel like I'm the top, top five out of that division, and I, I want to go get a ballot. Just when, when it's time for us to, you know, to go and do that, and uh, just get a couple fights in, and I'll, I'll be ready. Do you think you'll ever get to revisit the Shakur Stevenson fight from the amateurs that you guys have at feud, or do you think the weight class is going to Nah, I think he, he's outgrown the 126, 130 division. I'm still fighting at 126, so, you know, all the guys that I fought in the amateurs, they grew and I stayed the same, so probably not, bro. What about Ravisi Ramirez? Is that one that you'd like to have? For sure, um, I got to spar him earlier this year and it was good work. Um, you know, he just became a world champion and uh, got a lot of respect for him. But when it comes to, you know, being the best in, in the division, of course I would I'd like to, to get a fight in with him uh, when it's time. How big is it to be with Top Rank? Really big, man. I'm from Salinas, California, you know. There's not much uh, opportunity to come here from where I come from and finally be able to, to be on the A side of the card. Uh, Man, I'm just so excited and just working with them already, I've seen how much of a difference it is and bro, I'm just excited uh, to really show them what I, you know, I'm not just another guy they're going to sign, I'm truly the best and I, I fight to be the best. Eric, uh, Eric.